Hi guys and very welcome. Today I'm visiting one of Morris Row sites and what's even better, I'm gonna see the scanning, the 3D scanning with RTC360. Let's go. I will try to get the guys to tell you a few words about this. We'll see it. Hi everyone, uh, my name is James Wibbley. I'm engineering lead for a company called Morris Row. We're a specialist subcontractor in groundwork and concrete frames. So we are currently using Leica's RTC 360 for our reality capture. So the reason we're using this for gathering our point cloud data is really because of the high accuracy of it, how quick and easy it is to use. And what it does, it gives us a real good clarity of the information of what we've actually built out on site. So for when, for our own internal procedures of having that verification of what we built is in the right place, it's a lot more accurate. We're getting that assurance um, in a lot more efficient way um, and quicker, like I said before. And then obviously then for presenting that to our clients, we're able to give it in a, you know, present it in a much better fashion, but also in a more accurate way so that everyone has a real good visibility of the verification of what's actually out on site. Yeah guys, so that's what I definitely wanted to see. I wanted to see this one against the concrete and see how it works. But uh, anyways, let's show you a few things. Just put it here and then uh, there is a tablet there. Two minutes, three minutes, millions of points. Crazy, it's crazy guys. But uh, obviously what we want to see the data now and processing the data, that's an important thing and I Hope Luke gonna help me with it. Hi, my name's Luke Hillcottenham. I'm the Reality Capture Sales Specialist for Leica Geosystems. Um, so we've been using the RTC360 with Morris Row, and the reason why we picked the RTC360 out of our Reality Capture portfolio is due to the fact that it's the speed of it. It can acquire 2 million points a second. It's got great range of up to 130 meters. So for capturing those uh, lift cores as they're going up, um, the density of the day so we can get nice, rich, high clarity point clouds, which we can then use for some analysis, like you can see on the screen behind me in 3DR. This allows us to look at the slab levels and columns in fine detail to capture where there is some errors in deviation, where as-built analysis can really highlight problems that could be occurring on site. RTC works with the Feel360 app, which sits on a tablet. We can use that to control the RTC. It's really quick. Um, easy to use, user friendly. We can carry out all our pre-registration on the iPad, uh, where we can adjust and amend the links, geotag, uh, some snags, etc., that can be geo-referenced and geolocated in the point cloud, um, so that that can be used for communication between internal and external stakeholders. James with me now, a project engineer for Two Things Bre Avenue. Great, another great Morris Rose job. And uh, I just want to, yeah, I just ask him, how do you feel about this RTC 360 and all this stuff? I think it's fantastic. We just completed the scan. It's been about 10 minutes of the whole entire floor plate. Picking up the slab, picking up the soffit, picking up all the leaves, all the columns. I'm looking forward to see the processing of the data to see how accurate and how clean and how good the job looks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to see. We, we want to see accuracy, actually, how the data collected then later is actually compared to what we're designing, so to what we want, really, yeah? See, any deviations, we want to highlight any minute detail, which is any imperfections, but more so to show how good we've done this work. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, that's what I can tell you guys. The, the works look, look beautiful here, and the concrete is perfect, so we just want to make sure it's in the right position. <laughs> so it's a little, little demonstration here how it works, but uh, you obviously connecting with the phone, I want to see this. <laughs> and that's a nice stuff, man. Yeah, but we can still clearly see what's there. So again, half the time or stuff depends on what you've been using it. So you can see how it's kind of positioned with the uh, concrete. So what I'll do is I take, for example, the slab. I'm just gonna isolate the slab by itself. Very impressed by the speed of the processing, the accuracy and detail of what we've got. Seeing the deviations being cut through at the levels that you want, the slab's survey looks neater than any one thing we normally produce and it's great. 